Hello whiskey lovers and welcome to another one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings. This is a rather special one because today I will be trying the oldest and most expensive Talisker to date. The Talisker 41 years old from 1978 in the Bodega series. Now, the Bodega series will consist of three releases. Last year saw the release of a 40 years old Talisker from 1978, which was finished on um, Amontillado sherry casks from the uh, bodega uh, Zuleta Delgado. No, it's Delgado Zuleta, I should say that right. It's one of the oldest cherry producers in the world. They've been around since 1744, something like that. And now this year, there is this new one, the Talisker 41 years old, which is also finished on sherry casks. In this case, Manzanilla, but from the very same Delgado Zuleta uh, bodega because Talisker and Delgado Zuleta they've been working together for over a hundred years and these uh, whiskies were finished in bespoke casks from that bodega now this is not for everyone because this is a very expensive Talisker um, the 41 years old will set you back between 3,000 and 3,500 euros in my opinion that might mean that not all of these beautiful whiskies will be tried many of those will disappear I am afraid into vaults and collections in the Far East Russia or wherever there is new money to be found um, so this is not my bottle I have uh, the fortune of having a friend who has one and he lent me the bottle saying would you like to try it and I told him is that a trick question so I have it here now with me beautiful packaging but of course with a price tag like that that's only warranted right all right, like I said, this is the second release in the Bodega series in this Sherry Triangle. I presume the next one will be for next year, probably a 42 years old, but I don't know for sure. For now, let's give this one a go. It's composed by six uh, 1978 casks, uh, creating 2,000 bottles at a cask strength of 50.7%. This is quite an expensive dram. Let's not calculate, let's just focus on the quality of the liquid. And as you can see, this is a dark golden, almost amber liquid Talisker 41 years old Bodega series at 50.7% ABV on the nose. Oh. From the get-go, you realize you have something extraordinary in your glass. It starts sweet and soft, but the surprising thing is that at first I get some mango skins and star fruit, then some banana and even a single maraschino cherry that got lost somewhere before the typical maritime notes from Talisker kick in. But they do kick in. It's the, it's the Talisker Trinity. Salty, peaty, peppery. Oh, this is beautiful. I get some mint in the back and it, it actually transports me to my dad's old garage with his rusting tools only to be whisked away to my first day in school. This has the smell of a new pack of paper, a new legal pad. This is extraordinary. This is, this is sexy. This is very good and very complex. Right on the ballot. Mm. Light and oily. And the first arrival is soft, but that doesn't last long. Then immediately the typical pepperiness kicks in. Oh, it's an amazing dram. It, it, it takes me from tropical fruit that evolves into caramel and toffee and the peppery note turns into a salty oyster. And then it becomes a dying bonfire that leads to an apple crumble pie straight from the oven like Granny used to make. Mm. It doesn't end there though. From a, from a, a, a polished leather sofa, it takes me along a, a rocky coast to a quay where a fisherman's boat is releasing the day's catch. Wow, this is this is palette progression and then some. This gives palette progression a new definition. But the best thing is, it keeps getting better. It keeps getting, it's very complex, very broad, but it stays Talisker throughout. Wow, on the finish. The finish is deliciously long quite supple but very long and the, the, the pepperiness remains there and is slowly slowly drying and dying I get some smoked salmon the leather sofa returns as does the mint and some banana this is 
flabbergasting this is. Made by the sea? Hell yeah. Wow. Wow. It leaves me speechless. Well, if you watch this video, you'll be like, you're not speechless. But you know what I mean. This is, this is out of this world. And there is this little devil inside me that is always looking for a flaw in these, these high value releases. Just to be able to say, oh, there is an off note in there. Ha! That kind of money for this kind of liquid. To war! But I can't find it. This is, this is in a league of its own. This is just like the Port Ellen 39 years old, the untold stories. Just like the Brora 40 years old for the 200th anniversary. I have had the fortune, just like with this one, to try it. I, I, they are flawless. They are extraordinary. They are in a league of their own. They are out of this world. And hence, it is a serious pity that the art is expensive and that I cannot afford them. But hey, I was lucky enough to try it and for that I am very thankful. If you get the chance to try this one at a festival or, or a tasting or whatever, please, please, just fork over the money. It is a once in a lifetime opportunity. But like I said, with a price tag of 3,500 euros, it's probably not for everyone, unfortunately. But I was lucky to try it and I am a happy camper. And that's all for this Whiskey Rambling, and I hope to see it one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings real soon. And until then, may the mob be with you.